see his wings? Do you think we're ready to survive with Durrell? What is it? Durrell and Merle? Are those the two names in uh, Walking Dead? Brother Durrell, Brother Merle. Let's go. I want to see that opening cutscene. I gotta see this game. The fast action handgun has a short range, but it is great for quick kills. Reckless survivors lower the group's risk level less than normal survivors. A well-timed shove will interrupt a walker's attack. The fast action handgun has a short range. Are there only three tips? I think I see some blood. I see a cricket in the water. Why don't you uh, scoop up some of them crawdads, put them in your mouth, see what happens down here in the crick. I'm cricking out. I'm cricking. I'm cricking out, dude. I'm cricking out. Oh, shit. What did Buck see? Buck saw a 10-point buck. All right, you're going to want to line up with the... Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I was getting that buck. I got to go help Buck. Was that really... I, I was going to get that buck. Now I got to go help Buck. Oh, they faced on his flesh. Oh, shit. What the... There's so many hillbillies out here. They caught me in the fuck... I'm stuck in the rock. I got stuck in the rock. Holy shit. Oh, is that supposed to happen? I got my guts ripped out, dude. Or is this the death scene? Wait a minute. No, I'm not Durl. I'm not even Durl. That's Durl. That's Durl and he daddy. I thought I was Durl. Game starts with Mingus Reedus dead. This is going to be the only song they have, isn't it? It's going to be the only song they have is the fucking Walking Dead theme. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you, I love this show. Me and, uh, me, and the, me and the kids, we put it up on the TV. We love watching it every night. That Daryl Dixon, my, uh, you know, my wife has quite the fascination with that Daryl Dixon. I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, why do you think uh, my wife might be too into Daryl Dixon? She got all the posters. She has her Daryl Dixon gun, her Daryl Dixon crossbow. She even drinks that Daryl Dixon beer. Well, I got my wife this uh, game called Death Stranded. It's got Daryl Dixon in it. And, uh... Well, now my wife is talking about bringing America back together, and, uh, well, she's no longer on the Trump train, so that's why we gotta, uh, what I'm saying is Daryl Dixon ruined my life and my marriage. Curse you, Daryl Dixon. You drive me to drink. What's that? Sports drink. We gotta find the walkers around here. Now, uh, you know what I always say is I see some walkers, I'm gonna be running. <laughs> How's the destructibility on the terrain here? What do what we, what do we got here? What is that? Is that a sock and bopper? No, that's a sleeping bag. We're fine. I thought it was a sock and bobber. Remember what we learned about him? Head trauma. Oh, I got that. Oh, I got a mot bit of that, Daddy. I got quite a bit of that head trauma there, Daddy. Oh, you know me, Daddy. Big fan of head trauma right here. I got a gaping head wound right now. Mm, a cool photo. Real photo of Durl and Merle. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Brendan's Plastic Chair Review. Uh, here in Walking Dead Survival Instinct. You know the fucking rules. You know what applies here. Fuck chairs that don't have drainage slots. And also, fuck chairs that don't have a back, like the, the back slits, too. Like, fuck those chairs. Two out of ten. Let me kill him just like Durl. I'm just like Durl. I'm being just like Durl. I got that Durl movement on me. They got me. Durl down. Durl down. Watch this. See this boy? Now, this is how my dad make me, uh, made me take down my old dog, Pep Pep. Just like this. What was that laugh, Brendan? What? <laughs> what kind of laugh are you talking about? Stop. <laughs> Hammer time. Execute. Hey, Brendan, what's your favorite Pokemon? Execute. All right, let's go to Lucky's and gas our ass up. Let's get fat and full with it. I'm drinking gas right from the tap. Let's fucking go. Daryl need his key. Daryl need his sip juice. Daryl need his big bottle of wine. Oh my god, the fucking physics on this shit. Can't hop around here, Daryl. Oh wait, no, I can't hop around here. What the fuck? Let me out of this pick -em up truck. Let me out into the void. Oh, shit. Get off of me. I gotta get that food supply. What the fuck? They didn't even bother. They didn't even bother. Okay, no, wait. Wait, that's water. Okay, all right, that's better. I thought they didn't even bother to change, like, the fuel canister. So I thought it was just gonna be, oh, that, that's the blue food. We love the blue food. Food comes in blue, gas comes in red, weed comes in green. You know the rules, Daryl. Bag? You know what? Uh, save a plastic tree. I'll take my two cans and go home. <laughs> ah, Daryl Dixon's famous, iconic hammer. Don't you love it when Daryl Dixon is like uh, building a bench outside? And uh, Rick Grimes, a uh, famous character from The Walking Dead, comes outside and says, Hey, what are you building over there? Daryl looks at him and he says, he says Shelf? Isn't that awesome? Good bit. Oh, sweet. Cool bullets. Now I'm not going to trust any of the- Wait. <laughs> I don't know the boxes just fall over. Good shit. 
I'm not going to trust any corpse now from now on, even in real life. The next funeral I go to, I'm going to bring a loaded Walther P-47. I think that's a real gun. Start firing into the casket. Listen, you're not going to believe me, but I think... I, I think Grandma may... I think Grandma may have revive. Out of there, stranger. Jimmy Blake. We'll talk when you finish the why is his hat so fucking big? I don't know why. I don't know what's possessing me, but I already want to make like a four-minute fan cam of Jimmy Blake. I don't know why, right? Anybody else feel really like inspired to make a four-minute to five-minute fan cam of Jimmy Blake from Walking Dead Survival Instinct? Or is it just me? Because, like, look how big his hat is. Look how fucking large his hat is. Are you fu- All right, why the fuck has nobody told me about this fucking game? Why the fuck has nobody ever told me about this game? Collecting the big squirrel! Who has been holding this game away from me? One of 16. What other collectibles do I need aside from big squirrel video game? Let me tell you something. I ain't need any other collectibles. I have the big scuttle. Time for Daryl Dixon to lay some pipe. <laughs> you ever think about like blunt force trauma but to the tune of Jukebox Hero? Blunt force trauma. He's got stars in his eyes. It was same fucking, th same fucking song. Oh, come on. That would have been a double headshot. Where the fuck did they cut? That was a double headshot. And I got a fucking Chivo for it, Thog. Now that's crazy. That guy looked just like Daryl Dixon. I got him. Actually, what are these unmarked cop cars? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey, I'm trying to make observational comedy. Can you fuck off? <laughs> yeah, man fall down. Anyway, about these, uh, like, uh, d d you know what? I lost it. Fuck it. Ruined it. He ruined it. I had a whole bit. I had a whole bit planned. Huge bit planned. Gigantic, like, enormous sized bit. Not going to do it. I don't. I don't need to do it anymore. I was just trying to do some good old-fashioned observational comedy. Fuck that guy. He ruined it. He ruined it. Brendan, I had ants on my desk, but I but I hired the giant ant eater. It turned out it was the evil ant eater, and he put more ants on my desk. How do I solve this problem I find myself in? What let me reread that one second. What? Brendan, I had ants on my desk, but I hired the giant ant eater. It turned out it was the evil ant eater. And he put more ants on my desk. How do I solve this problem I find myself in? Do you have your flute? You have the flute, right? You have your flute? Uh, do, hon honestly, I, I, I gotta know. Do you have your flute? You do. Okay, play the ditty. If you play the correct ditty, the ants will dissipate. You're welcome. You'll know the right one. When the moment is right, you'll know. God, I hope there's a character named Brem Bremblo. And he's like, hello, Daryl Dixon, it's me, your nemesis, Bremlo. And then he does a happy little jig and then flies into the sky. That'd be such a good bit. Such a good bit. I'm writing that down for the next Walking Dead game. Got him. Oh, shit. Got him. Oh, my God. Three grabs? That's so many grabs. <laughs> Insane that I've watched two movies today. Earlier, earlier today at like 2 p.m., I had some friends in a Discord that were watching Black Adam. They were playing a drinking game with Black Adam. And I was like, why are you watching Black Adam? And they said, well, if we don't watch it, who will? And I fathomed that. So I watched Black Adam, or at least like 80% of Black Adam with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's not fucking good. I get it now. It's not fucking good. The only time I pog-faced, which is, you know, stereotypical in a superhero movie. You should be pog-facing like... 30 to 40% of the time, but I only pog faced once in the after credits scene when Henry Cavill showed up and I was like, that's the Reddit guy. That's the 2022 Reddit guy of the year. Aim for the walker's head. It's the only way to take it out. The fast action handgun has a short range, but is great for quick kills. Traveling along back roads consumes more fuel, but provides additional opportunity. Aim for a walker's head. It's the only way to take it out. The fast action handgun has a short range, but it is great for it. I'm never going to be able to finish that one. Please die. I'm Durl. I'm hero Durl Dixon. You know how many like 30 to 40 year old moms have tattoos of me on their arm, leg, thigh, upper back, lower back, inner thigh? Hey, do you want to see my cool mime act? Know what? 
I'm sick of this mime shit. Got him. It's way easier to let them, like, grab you. Because it's an insta-kill. Aw, oh, group hug. I just got a fucking achievement for that. I just gotta let him grab me. I just gotta let him grab me. Just let him hug you, Durl. Hug me. I'm gonna be your little friend. How many fucking zombies did I just- Am I in a pile of them? Oh, no, it's okay. Only two of the bodies stayed. Lame. When I conquer, like, my fears, like, when I conquer a big horde like that, I deserve a little bit more. There ain't no help coming, Durl. Doesn't Durl have his own show now? Norman Reedus and the Freaky Fetus? I'm sorry, Norman Reedus and the Big Boy Cletus? Sorry, different. Norman Reedus and his beautiful son, Mingus? Fucking Norman Reedus and he rides his bike around and he smokes weed all day? I don't know. Fuck. So many in college, dude. The, the obsession with Daryl Dixon in college was so strong that there were a ton of girls that went and watched the Boondock Saints and then ran around yelling, Hey, this is my favorite movie. It's fucking awesome. And, like, I don't want to be the guy to, who shits on the Boondock Saints and the sequel. Because, like, they're fun movies. Uh, they have a they have a couple cool scenes in them. But I do remember a bunch of... A bunch of chicks at my college that immediately were like, This is my favorite movie. This is my favorite movie of all time. And it's like, Norman Reedus? Really? The guy who looks like he's half skunk? I don't... That trailer park, you know what was fucked up? That trailer park didn't have a big guy with his shirt off with a big beer belly, which is a like a common trailer park occurrence. It had all, it had all the lawn chairs, but not a single zombie was, was like one of those guys with the big beer belly who sits outside all day and drink the, I don't know, either soda or the beer. My brain fucking, okay, I gotta explain. My brain was like, oh, an ice box. Let me open this up and get a slurp fish. Brennan, not every game is Fortnite. They're just waiting for their turn. This is fucking... <laughs> oh, mate, these aren't zombies. They're British. They're waiting in the queue for a hug, mate. The British love a queue. That's why they play Overwatch. They hit Q. They use their ultimate. Everybody laughs. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty? Hey, uh... How are those, uh, quarterly, uh... How are those, uh, quarterly, uh, reports going? <sighs> How crazy this weather's been, right? We got some crazy weather around here. Got thunderstorms coming in tonight, they say on the news. You hear that Larry flubbed the Johnson account? Completely fucking bonehead move. If he wasn't the son's boss, he would have been fired five years ago. He's worked here 30 years. Get her, better, uh, better get back to it. Gonna get fired if we keep up these chats. That's what everybody missed when the pandemic was, uh, was happening. Like, oh, you gotta work from home. Sorry, you gotta be comfortable in your own home. Whoopsies. It's like, no. How am I gonna survive remote work? Whatever will I do? No more water cooler talk. See, this is why game dev should have jumped on water cooler talk simulator, like in VR chat or something. Have a sip of water. Have a cup of water. Talk to your old pals at the old work factory. You hear that Danny DeVito is playing Freddy Fazbear. All I can say is Freddy Fazbear. Mr. Brendaniel, one time I was in geography and me and a friend watched your fishing with dad video and we ended up getting kicked out because we were laughing too much. Good. I'm glad that I have helped people not learn very good. Number one, one of my favorite things is knowing that people don't get to learn very good with me around. That's what I'm all about. Knowledge? Nah, nah, nah. Information? Nah, nah, nah. Keep your head fat and full of meat. I unlearn things. Yeah? Did you know that there are no uh, female bees? Oh, sorry, there's no male bees that are worker bees? When bees are born, when a queen bee is born... She has, a, like, a seminal flight. Uh, it's called a sex flight. And what the queen does is she fucks all of the men, collects all of their sperm, and then any males whose penises don't explode inside the queen die. And worker bees are all female. Therefore, the bee movie is one of the most inaccurate pieces of media 
in our world today. Did you know there are over 7,000 different kinds of honeybee alone? Did you know that there's a type of bee called the cuckoo bee that actually birds its babes inside other bees' hives? It does not contribute to, uh, to any hive. It is a solitary bee that lays the egg in a different hive and cucks the whole hive with its own bees. Now you've learned. You've learned! You've learned about the cuckoo bees. Would it be fucked up if there was a, like a type of human that evolved to be like that? And they like gave me a Nintendo Switch and you know, let me play Mario? I mean, sorry. <laughs> I get to play Mario three nights a week. My wife's boyfriend said so. Sorry, can't talk. It's Mario time. Woohoo! Waha! Yippee! Dude, awesome. My wife's boyfriend just got me an awesome present. He got me a Logitech wheel! We're gonna play so much Euro Truck Simulator. I'm so excited. What a famous Marvel movie character Thor. Oh, and famous comic book character Thor. Same guy, by the way. Crazy. Uh, what if he went to the Home Depot when he had to get a new weapon built instead of the weird, uh, what's his name? Peter Dinklage hole. What if instead he simply went to Home Depot and bought new hammer? That is what I would do. Clearly, I'm the smarter one here. What if, uh, I, like, I don't know why my brain works this way, but what if Daryl Dixon just had the really cool, uh, what is the weapon that Dig Dug has? Oh, the bicycle pump. And what if he just made every zombie nice and big and round instead? What a world we live in, right? I gotta drop this joke. I gotta drop, guys, I gotta, guys, I gotta be real with you. I gotta be honest with you. I gotta get rid of the nice and big and round joke. I have to, I have to retire it. I have to. We we've reached the like the, the 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 point where I need to stop. I need to talk to a real clown, and I need that clown to get me to stop making this joke over and over again. People are gonna think I'm watching Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory for adults. We're at the precipice here. I need to stop. Someday, Brendan, you're gonna have to grow up. All right. Uh, what kind of jokes can I tell instead? Uh, what do people love? Uh. Mm. You ever go to the beef jerky store and there's a guy there and he's he's really strong and he's 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 really muscular and he uh he starts throwing shit around right he starts going bungo he's going crazy right you can't fucking stop him so you look directly at the cashier at the beef jerky store and you say geesh this guy is the real beefed jerk am i right and then everybody laughs and you make a million friends i've never had beef jerky next to joke please you ever at the airport and your your friend, uh, John, really funny guy. Uh, are you ever, uh, uh, fuck. Are you ever at the airport with your friend, John? And he, uh, fuck. He, uh, he looks directly at the, all the people in the airport, the airport people, and he yells, bomb. And then you're arrested. Crazy bit. Gotta love that. Jom. No, I'm just trying to come up with different jokes. I'm trying to, I want to be more than just the one joke guy. Are you ever at the airport and they ask you directly, hey, is your name Bomb? Because you're about to blow up and then they get the bike pump and, and make you nice and big and round, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. It's all cyclical. It all goes right back to it. I need help. You did a plastic chair review this stream. You're good. Oh yeah. Rest of the stream is throwaway. That's right. Brendan, what meat would you eat if you, if you could, what meat would I eat if I could? Are we talking like right now or like in general? What meat would I eat if I could? Like any meats on the table? Uh, Dodo. I've thought about this before, Dodo. Uh, because like, dude, there is no fucking way that Dodo doesn't taste good. They eradicated the whole fucking bird because that shit tastes good. So yeah, I want to try Dodo. I think Dodo would be like the optimal food source. There's no way they wouldn't have eaten all those Dodos if the Dodo didn't taste good, right? So Dodo's got to be good. Dodo's got to be at least okay. Get me some Dodo and get it for me now. Be when I'm in the green room for the new blockbuster that I've been invited to be in. Hey, uh, you want to separate all the green M&Ms from all the other colored M&Ms and put them in a bowl? I want to throw them at people. The green M&Ms are the best for throwing. Yeah, yes, sir. Of course, sir. And also, can you get me some dodo meat? I'd love dodo meat. We wouldn't even have to engineer chickens to be all fucked up and evil. We just get dodo meat. Fucking everywhere. The round bird. This is what we would call it. 
and we would all love it. Could you really? Could I really hurt the funny little bird? Listen, toppings for what? For hot dog? Wait a minute, sorry. I was gonna go on a train of thought about something else, but I gotta look at this. Cheese, spicy, mild, sour cream. Where's the ketchup at? What the fuck? A uh, sour cream hot dog, please. Where, anyway, what was I talking about? Could you really kill a, a cute round bird though? Um, here's the fucking thing. I don't feel bad about eating animals. Like not that much. I feel a little bad when I eat animals, but if it was me or the dodo, I'm in a room, I'm starving. There's an oven and a deplucking and, and, and defeathering and a, 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 a skinning station right next to me. Uh, and the dodo and me are in the room together and there's a big butcher knife. I would kill the dodo to eat it. I'd eat it, 100%. It's a me or it situation and I'm prioritizing my survival. I'm gonna prioritize my survival, right? Brendan is the dark germa. As long as you don't call me the germa. Brendan, what weapons would you need to beat 3.5 polar bears? A military mortar? and a shotgun with 50 flechette rounds. Well, uh, why flechette rounds? To cut them up, to really fuck them up, to really fuck them up, that's why. Aren't mortars notorious for being stationary? Uh, see, all right, three and a half polar bears, we're talking three polar bears and a cub, all right? I'm gonna assume three and a half polar bears is three polar bears and a cub. Here's how I'm gonna take, if you're asking me what weapons I need to take them down, I'm not gonna use the mortar like you would think I'd use the mortar, like a normal person would use the mortar, okay? My personal plan, my plan of personality, my plan of attack, is to cover the mortars in delicious meat. You'd take the mortar shells, you'd cover them in delicious meat, you'd put them in the mortar tube, you'd cover the mortar tube in delicious fucking meat. The polar bears would like gnaw on it and suck it like a gogurt, right? And then I'd light the fuse and run away. Listen, having mortars as a weapon would imply me having mortar shells. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I missed. Got him. Bah bah, feller. Suck it like a gogurt? Yeah, suck it like a gogurt. You know, beefed jerky is just solidified adult gogurt, right? Like, grow up. I should be allowed to eat as much gogurt as I want at any library across the country, all right? Yeah. I don't know why my voice, my brain started like turning off saying that. I should be able, allowed and able to eat as much gogurt as I want all across the country in any library that I choose, okay? Somebody tells me, ooh, sorry. This is a gogurt free zone. I'm not following their doctrine. I almost bought some gogurt the other day, but something in my brain was telling me, no, you're too old for yummy gogurt. You're not. Gogurt fucking rocks. And there should be an adult gogurt. Brendan prefers gogurt from a penis. Time, time, they're mod here. Time them out for five minutes. Time them out for, for, for that. Time them out, five minutes. Oh shit. Game of the year 2022. 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 Hug me. Yeah, that's the ticket. Yeah. Brendan, how would you survive the zombie ap apocalypse? I would. Bullet to the head. Absolutely would not. Bullet to the head. A hundred percent would not survive. Bullet to the head. He got behited by the zombie. They didn't even disinfect that shit. Come on, bro. Don't let Durl down, Jess Collins. You can't do this to Durl. Durl's been waiting a long time for this. Oh, a businessman, eh? With a business plan. I love these ghouls. These are some premium ghouls. This is what happens when you try to make zombie you, but you try to make an American. This is literally, what if zombie you was set in America? Well, America's so spread out, isn't it? Brendan, are you excited for the new Barbie movie that's coming out? Have you seen the trailer for that? The new Barbie movie looks fucking awesome. I'm mad that it looks that fucking good. Genuinely excited about the new Barbie movie. Fuck yes, I am. You can bet your fucking bippy that I'm excited about the Barbie movie. It, the trailer is fucking good. It's sweet. Dude, we gotta find my brother Merle. Remember, it's Merle and Durl against the world. Merle and Durl against the world. Merle and Durl bopping heads and busting nuts. I, uh, sorry, bashing butts and fucking dudes. Shit, fuck, keep fucking it up. Language, oh, sorry, sorry. This is a Christian server, I forgot, sorry. I forgot that I put Christianity Real as one of my stream tags. Whoops. Anybody else a theater kid? Fucking bring out your dead. Anybody else? You want to watch uh, Monty Python on the Black Knight? Come on, dude. It's really funny. I'm oh, sorry. Monty Python on the, uh, the Holy Grail. <laughs> I got a YouTube video right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not going to lie. Uh, pretty pretty cool uh, movie. <laughs> uh, I bought these coconuts. You want to hang out with me? You're all... I'm the new Jeff Dunham puppet. I feel like that's my hell. There's a, I go to hell and there's just a really big Jeff Dunham. 
and he's standing there just waiting for me. He's got his hand out, and he says, Come, Brendan. Come forward, Brendan. And he just gets me. He just makes me his little puppet. I hate that. I don't want that. I don't want to be his little puppet. There's a new Jeff Dunham puppet called Ural. He's a Gen Z. What does Jeff Dunham get up on stage with his little puppet? He says, Fortnite! And the puppet goes, Battle Pass! I'm the new Jeff Dunham puppet. Sorry, guys. This stream was to reveal that. Jeff Dunham, Jeff, well, sorry. Y'all call him Jeff Dunham. I just call him Jeff. Uh, Jeff, Jeff wanted me to tell you that I'm going to be his new puppet. I, this is a great opportunity for me, Dang. and I finally get to work with the Jeff. Uh, I'm very excited, uh, especially for all the Jeffs all across this world who are weaker than Jeff Dunham. But I'm very excited to be the new puppet, and I I can't wait to say things like, kids these days don't wanna, don't don't know that you don't have to click on a book. Kids these days, all they want to do is play Fortnite, eat their tapioca pudding, do a little dance. Jeff Dunham with $19 Fortnite card jokes. Great. What a fucking world we live in. Jeff Dunham is going to be in Fortnite as the next skin. He's appealing to the youth. Now, let me ask you about this puppet, this new puppet he has. Does Jeff Dunham's new puppet that's a Gen Z Zoomer, does he have a backwards baseball cap? Does he have a little, a Yankee with a brim? He's got to have a ball cap, right? Because that's how like old people see kids in their head, right? It's either a, a ball cap or one of those beanies with the, hel the helicopter beanie. That's how old people see kids. It's either a, 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 a snap brim cap or a beanie with a helicopter on top. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Look at this dude. <laughs> this is a developer who did not want to take this picture. I <laughs> Come on! John, put on the chef costume. Put on John, put on the chef costume. He wears AirPods. Jeff Dunham's Zoomer puppet wears AirPods. <laughs> Dude, fucking Zoomer moment. This motherfucker be wearing AirPods out here. Real? Sorry, I was talking about something serious and I saw the best movie poster in a video game I've ever seen in my entire life. I feel like I've unearthed something. I feel like I've awoken something inside of me. And I have to show you what may be the best movie poster ever made in a video game. Ham Radio 2! What if we could communicate with food? Again. AGAIN?! <laughs> Implying that there's not only a movie called Ham Radio, but the sequel is out in theaters. This is my game of the year. Did you see what- Do you see- Long time Brendaniel viewers, do you see what the other poster is? Did you see it? The Orb Brother! <laughs> <laughs> they do the orb, brother. Fuck <laughs> it. Oh fuck. Okay, what is this one? Meg Twinkle. Oh, fuck off. I want to read the under to the Earthbound poster. Are you ready to steep step into the ring with me, Hulk Hogan? Why don't you step into the orb, brother? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna settle this mano a mano, brother, in the orb, brother. <laughs> Fucking dying! The orb, brother. Step into the ring, brother. I don't want to step into the ring with you, brother. Step into the orb with me. What is that light, brother? Hogan, you have to go. The people need you, Hulkster. They need you in heaven, Hulkster. I'm gonna sue Gawker again, brother, and I'll be back one day. And you're all gonna see my penis again, brother, right after I step into this orb. We're popping heads, Buster. We're popping heads. We're gonna clear this town, Buster. They're not running out anytime soon, are they? They're not thinning out at all. Oh, it's okay. I can kill them with a the, with the lead pipe, too. Okay. I don't think they can hit me, but I can definitely just hit them. Oh, they can't hit me. Oh, God. Oh, no. They brought me through the fence. Oh, God. I'm inside the fence now. So sorry. I'm dead. The fast action handgun has a short range, but it is great. Fuck it never lets me finish it. Okay, I just can't. I, I gotta remember to not try to execute them. Just try not to execute them. Just hit them with the pipe through the fence. 
and then we're fine. We're normal. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Really hitting them with my old pipe today, aren't you? They call me John Pipe because that's a simple descriptor of who I am. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. I'm Johnny the Mr. Man Pipe Man. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. I'm piping around the whole place just having a good pipe life. You made me You made me go full Royland. Never do that again. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, jeez. I'm Mr. Pipe. Oh, shit. Really hitting him with the pipe is all I do all day long. That's my job. I look over to my left, and I look over to my right, and I say, wow, what a good pipe day. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Chef Tony. When you die with the blade in your eye, that's Chef Tony. Bells will ring, ding-a-ling-a-ling, ding a ling a ling That's Chef Tony. I don't get it. You don't have to get 90% of my jokes. Just laugh, smile, and nod, okay? Fine. Just don't make direct eye contact with me and laugh, smile, and nod. It's what I pay you all for. I pay everyone to be here. <laughs> it's why I pay every single member of this chat to be here. <laughs> God, Norman Reedus, you're so cool. I wish I could be just like you when I grow up. Incredibly wealthy. I <laughs> hello? Hello, hello? Oh, sweet. This is an awesome kitchen. Look, you have a fridge, so much counter space, and then... That's an awfully hot coffee pot. Fucking, I'm going neural mode. Going neural mode is what my husband calls it when he says, wife, speaker be spoken to. And I love it when my husband goes neural mode. My husband always likes to take me out into the backyard and go neural mode, if you know what I mean. He puts an apple on my head and fires at it rapidly with his crossbow. Golly, gosh darn it. I just love it when my husband's going neural mode. Don't know what I'd do without him. I'm a fiend for sandwiches. That's why I'm banned from every subway in the tri-state area. Because they know. I walk in and they say, big boy's here, and they ring the bell at the subway for me, the big boy. They say, big boy's here, and then I'm in trouble. All right, I got to get in the mind of Daryl Di Dixon here. I got to get in the real head of Daryl Dixon here. Now, what is Daryl Dixon? Anybody else watch The Walking Dead? What is Daryl Dixon like, Walking Dead fans? Long Tell me what he likes. I got to... Does he like boiled peanuts? Tepid water? He a soup guy? Daryl Dixon a soup guy? He a soup freak? I know he loves crossbows. That's definitely a Daryl Dixon thing. Daryl Dixon a huge crossbow freak. I know that. Maybe he likes crossbows. Does he like crossfit, you think? Daryl Dixon a crossfit freak? All right, Brendan boy. Hope that bong rip percolated nice and loud just so you can feel it deep in your soul. Now to go to sleep, I can be ready to work with human body fluid at the plasma center tomorrow. Hell yeah! If you get to name the blood, name some of the blood after me. Brendan, what's your favorite of the original 13 colonies of the Americas? I'm a huge Articles of Confederation fan. Hugh, did you guys remember the Articles of Confederation? Me trying to not out myself as old, but not like 30, like 1700s old. I'm not 250 years old. What are you talking about? You know, the Articles of Confederation were pretty poggers. Crazy that we have this constitution thing now. Y'all remember the Mayflower? I don't. What's up with that Krakatoa shit? At the Roanoke Colony. Y'all hear about that? It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Fuck, what was the word at the... Roanoke Colony, actually, I got it wrong. Not not Krakatoa. What was it? Shit. I need to know for this joke. Croatoa? Kr kr Kratom? Perfect. Are they be smoking herbs? Mott Nui? Fuck off, Bionicle fan. Bionicle sucks. Not because it actually sucks, uh, but because I, <laughs> I couldn't afford it as a kid. Croatoan. Okay. Croatoan. Me summoning the Elder Force. Anybody else have a family member that, like, vapes weed? And it's like, it doesn't smell, bro. It doesn't smell. No, it doesn't smell, actually. The cart uh, doesn't smell. Y you're wrong and stupid. The cart doesn't smell, bro. Your nose is broken. I Me sitting it. here after buying a third-party weed vape pockets. pen. Yeah. Why do I feel like there's well, popcorn in my lungs? But I was thinking of kicking my feet <laughs> hey, it's me, Merle. Get me penicillin. Uh, give me some Vicodin. If you see any Zans in there, hey, hey Daryl, if you see any uh, Zans in there, I, I really could use some. Cool, Did you know they call it the Walking Dead Save because it, right? zombies invented walking? I remember the, in the Walking Dead universe, everybody was like the Wally guys, but they weren't fat. They were on segways. Where's the hospital vending machine? I want to break in and get some crunchy yum yums. As I am wont to call them. Love to get a couple of crunchy yum yums. That's why my, that's going to be in the divorce papers. So, uh, tell me, Miss, uh, Shelby, uh, why are you seeking this divorce? He wouldn't stop calling everything at the grocery store a crunchy yum-yum. 
And he kept doing it. He kept embarrassing me. He was doing it at the cash register too. He was he was he was rubbing his belly and yelling, "Oh boy, can't wait to get these crunchy yum yums in my stomach tonight." He would he wouldn't stop. <laughs> And I, all I wanted him to do was stop. And then Shelby would look at me and scream right in my ear, GROW UP! And I'd look her directly in the eyes and say, Hey, honey, I'm hungry. Can you get me some of those crunchy yum-yums? For my... For my tum-tum, my tum-tum calls out in gurgles. It's quite hungry. Can you get me some flaming Hot Cheetos? I'm still really fucking mad that uh, the Mountain Dew merchandise is so hard to buy on their website. I really... Ah! <clears throat> I really wanted to buy. They had a Mountain Dew, like, Flaming Hot. What is this? Ma'am? You can buy the Flaming Hot Mountain Dew shirt off of Hot Topic. Yeah, but I wanted the nice one. They had a really nice button-down one. They had a Major Melon button-down one that I really wanted, too. Because it's hard for me to buy Mountain Dew merch because, like, and people don't think about this, but I can't buy Mountain Dew merch. You know why? Green screen. It's green. Guy Fieri, Guy Fieri would never give me a big slap, sl like, sloppy wet kiss on the top of my head. And then tell me, Brendan, I know you're almost 30. I know you're 29 years old, but I've adopted you on this day. You're my son now, Brendan. You're Brendan Fieri. You're my son now. I'm going to call you man now, Brendan. Wow. Your name is man now. You're my son. I'm Guy Fieri. You're man Fieri. This is our, this is your brother now. His name is boy Fieri. I found him on the street. This is my wife, woman Fieri, and my daughter, lady Fieri, and our baby, our baby girl Fieri. It's the whole Fieri family. Damn, I wish I got Durrell some glasses. Durrell, we gotta stop at the Walmart, man. Get you some reading glasses right off the rack. Merle, it's Durrell. Hit me back if you hear me. Merle, it's Durrell. Stop posting vent stuff in the general on the Discord, Merle. If you need to talk about vent shit, post it in the vent chat, Merle. Sports challenge or top shooter? What are you, uh, sports challenge guy? Me? No, I'm in a top shooter. What are you playing over there? Uh, bottom shooter. <laughs> this is so much easier than the normal combat. What the fuck happened? Did y'all saw that, right? What the <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> it looked like a zombie went ragdoll and jumped into me. <laughs> Once again, you disappointed me, Durl. That'll be the last time you do it, I swear to God. All right, Durrell, we're out of here. I need that big squirrel, though. A squirrel for Durrell! Yeehaw! Don't open. Dead. Oh! <laughs> Why did I fucking scream? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. It still got me. Good fucking game. What a good... F this is a shit post. What a good fucking game. Hang in there, baby. What a good fucking game. Nothing about this game is good, and yet it is all gelling specifically for me. What a fucking Brendan video game. Who, Doctor. Who are you? My name is Durrell. May have heard of me in my 18 oh, seasons God. of the walking deal. Help my boy. Oh God, they're killing me. Oh God, they're killing me. All right, hug time. <laughs> Look at him fucking, ooh. This is what a kindergarten teacher sees when it's snack time. Give me the fucking pudding. They're breaking the doors now. Whoa! Is that Don Knotts? Fuck off. Now, here's the thing. You're saying that very functional ears are spot literally rotten? You don't know as much about zombies as I know about zombies. Here's the fucking thing, all right? Zombies, they feel the vibration of the gun through their bone, okay? All right, if you knew that, You'd be as smart as me, and I'm a pretty smart fella. Some people say I'm a fart smeller. Not true. I'm a pretty smart fella. Zombies don't need ears to be able to hear. They feel with their bones. They smell with their bones. They, and they see, once again, with their bones. Fucked up that Daryl Dixon in the Walking Dead video game is a more likable character than Deacon St. John from Days Gone. Yeah, you looking for likable characters? Got one right here for you, buddy. Name is Durl Dixon. Listen, if you don't play Walking Dead Survival Instinct, you're literally missing out on art. If video games are art, if you consider video games art, that means that Walking Dead Survival Instinct is art. <laughs> Maybe not very good art, but it's art nonetheless. You have to accept that. What? what? Okay, y'all saw that, right? I look to my left 
and I look to my right, and then the zombies spawned in. I'd prefer it if you stopped talking. Shut the fuck up. Everybody would prefer it if I stopped talking. I'm not going to. It's not gonna happen. People come from miles around to yell at me. They say, Brendan, please shut the fuck up. Brendan, please shut the fuck up. And it doesn't happen. And I don't stop. Do you want to know why? You're in purgatory. This is the only thing on your TV. It's just me and you. There was never anybody else. This is where you are. This is where you belong. You're never fully entertained, but you can't stop looking away. It's like a car crash in slow motion. You're mortified, but mystified. Daryl, what are you doing to that car? Nothing, Merle. It's just the way I like it, Merle. Levered It 2 is a great game. And we're never going to get a co-op game of that same quality ever again. Because every fucking co-op game is going to be like, Look! Look! Loot. Gear. Items. Cards. Loot. Gear. Item. Cards. Loot. Gear. Item. Cards. Loot. Gear. Item. Cards. Don't you want your live service game? <laughs> And then they eat a big, giant, adult-sized pudding. Don't you want new guns with better numbers? <laughs> Why do you want to play a game like Left 4 Dead 2 again? <laughs> play Destiny 2. Unlock new Gunga. Why don't you look at our battle pass? <laughs> What a delightful battle pass it is. Remember, if you're not buying the expansions, you'll be behind and your friends will stop liking you. <laughs> like I said, this is what it's like to be a kindergarten teacher trying to dole out the snacks equally during snack time. I'm gonna die. I'm dead, there's no way. There's no fucking way I survived this. What the fuck happened? Did you see the bodies fly? <laughs> I took a walk around the world to ease my troubled mind. I let my body lie in somewhere in the sands of time. I watch the world float to the dark side of the moon. You've heard of fried chicken the food, but have you heard of fried chicken the restaurant? Make your fucking moves. Come at me. Fight me. Debate me. Why do you have to fucking hunger for flesh? Why not fight me in the marketplace of free ideals and debate me instead? What are your thoughts on the economy? What are your thoughts on mobs? Debate me! Fight me right now. What are your thoughts on global warming and climate change? Debate me! I'm dead. Durl. Not again, Durl. Not again, Durl. Earl's got to get the old epinephrine in there. Get up in there and <gasps> jack you up like Jason Statham and crank. Oh, are they going to take all my shit? No, fuck. You're not going to take away all the shit that I just got. I don't even get to use the double barrel in fucking normal Where's gameplay. Oh, they took okay, everything. everything. Fuck off. Uh, time for you to use your fucking famous crossbow. Is the game busted? Can I not grab my crossbow? <laughs> oh, hunting knife. There we go. Zombie. Oh, that's why the crossbow jump scare. Earl, I'm coming for you, brother. And then I'm going to put you in the orb, brother. You're going into the orb where nobody can save you. Would the Joker use a crossbow? He probably has before. The Joker would use one of those, like, marine crossbows to shoot Aquaman. Do you see the irony, Aquaman? <laughs> what you would normally use to kill a fish, I have used to kill you. <laughs> so this whole game is just going to be you chasing your brother over and over again on repeat. That's the whole game, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you.